Now, a few years ago, when the French Grand Prix at Paul Ricard got announced on the calendar, there was a picture doing the rounds, and it was almost like a meme, really. And there was this picture right here, essentially a maze. And, you know, everyone was kind of joking the fact that there were so many different layouts and what the hell is the actual race circuit. And um, I saw this picture the other day on the timeline for some reason. It just popped up on my timeline. I thought to myself... Maybe we should explore this and see what happens. So on screen right now, you can see we have the full layout of Paul Ricard. Now in green, I've marked the areas which we're going to exploit here today. The red ones are other options, but we can't exploit them due to limitations with the game. I tested this on F1 2020 and Assetto Corsa, and surprisingly, Assetto Corsa was far more restrictive than F1 2020. So we're going to run with uh, the Cody's game here today and see what happens. And essentially what we're going to see is four hot laps of the circuit, A, B, C, D, or 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, the first one is going to be the standard hot lap, just to kind of do a bit of a reconnaissance lap of the circuit and then the other three are going to be other options with the final one option d or number four uh, being my personal preference and what i like so hopefully you guys like the sound of that if it sounds exciting then leave a like subscribe for more you'll be seeing in the background here some of the uh the lap footage i've been doing and uh, yeah let's jump into it and uh, let's see what we can come up with now first of all before we jump into the action of course we had to clear the track so as you can see here in the background, I went about getting rid of all of the um, directional arrows and making sure the track was nice and clear. For this test, we are going to use a default setup. And as you can see, we're using the Red Bull, um, using realistic performance as well. So just so we, you know, we have something to aim for here. So yeah, just pretty much clearing the track. So we've got a little bit here in the first corner to get rid of. And then on the back straight, uh, there's a bit more kind of, you know, debris let's say to get rid of so i quickly went about getting those off the track to clear the path to do all of our laps so uh yeah once that was done we could actually start to experiment and see what happens so what we're going to do first of all as i mentioned before is run you through a full hot lap of the standard layout what we're going to run you know this weekend and what we have done in the past so here we are at the final corner drs wide open running down towards the first corner now uh, one and two pretty close together left right chicane combo uh, slightly uphill then dips down and then back up again and then down again on the exit so a pretty nice combination and you know i really actually enjoy it to be fair i think it flows really well um, into turn three and four important here to be aggressive on those curbs very slow tricky section not much we can do here in terms of, you know, experimenting with the layout. So uh, this will be present in all of the hot laps. And to be fair, I don't mind it. It's a pretty technical section. If you've got a good setup and the car feels good, it's actually quite fun and it's not terrible. I personally don't mind Paul Ricard uh, as a circuit, the standard layout. Uh, currently on the bit back straight though, into the chicane, we're gonna break down a fourth gear and just keep the momentum going across the apex and then quickly back on the throttle on the exit on the throttle again for about 10 seconds, 15 seconds, as we go flat out through Senior, the long right-hander, and then we're gonna go down three gears, possibly four for the double right-hander here, turn 11 and turn 12. Important here to uh, use all the exit curb, bring the car over to the right-hand corner for the worst corner on the track for me. It's very technical and quite challenging, which I like, but at the same time, it's just not enjoyable, and it's going to be that left-hander, which is very much off camber and just constant understeer. Pull the corner, bring the car over to the left, open up the final one, and then quickly back on the throttle, easy with the wheel spin, as we open the RS and end the lap of the standard pull Ricard. Now this is option one, option A. We're now gonna move to option two, slash option B. And this is going to be, what I would say is a slightly modified for overtaking purposes version. So down to turn one, we're gonna run a bit deeper into the corner here, and pick up a late apex. The right hander tightens up quite a bit. It's a lot flatter and it gives us a much shorter run uh, down towards the next brake zone. Then this section of course will remain the same. So important for here to have good mechanical grip and make sure you don't let the car ahead of you get too far away. Aggressive over that inside curb and then using all the runoff here. Again, this track curbing is important. We have to be aggressive. Now we're gonna change the back straight a little bit. We're gonna go for a left right chicane, but very different to what we know it as. So a lot earlier here, we have to get on the brakes, tip the nose in to this very short left right, and then quickly back on the power here. And this means the second straight is a lot longer. Uh, it could essentially promote an overtake on this second part of the straight as well, 
even more, potentially heading into this corner right here, which would then continue into this one here as well. So I feel like that could be a bit more interesting. And then another change is going to be out of the exit of this corner, bring the car quickly to the right to open the left. So keep the distance a lot shorter. It makes this section a bit straighter and possibly a bit easier to follow as we cut out the off camber, the left handers off camber. And then through the final couple of corners, we round off the lap for what is going to be, um, let's say, a slightly more overtaking-ish inspired version of the track. So that was option 2B. We're now going to move into option 3C. And this one is going to be the low downfalls slash the Baku version. So on the pit straight, we're going to keep the throttle absolutely pinned. We're going to run the final chicane aggressive over the curbs but this is all flat, so it could present an interesting overtaking opportunity into this corner right here. We then make our way into the slow section once again, so, you know, bearing in mind we're running pretty low downforce for this one, this could be very challenging and very, very tricky. We then get back on the gas, and you can probably guess what's going to happen here. We are going to completely cut out all of the chicanes and go straight on. So again, the low downforce, low drag concept. If F1 wanted to just go all out on overtaking, this would be the answer. You know, the one before still has some corners and some character to it, but this is a lot more streamlined and a lot more simple. And yeah, it'd be literally a, a low downforce Monza package pretty much for this as we make our way into the final part of the lap. Now, unlike the previous version, we're going to keep the original out for the end of the lap, which means we prolong these kind of short straights and keep the general lap speed higher. And again, kind of falling into line with that low downforce uh, configuration. So uh, the final couple of corners again, these are going to be quite tough, especially with that low downforce package. And then at this point, the final corner, just making sure we get the lap done. And that is going to be it for option 3C. So I'm curious in the comments down below, guys, leave your favorite option so far. But we're now going to move into my personal favorite for the, um, the Tom 97 selection, let's say. So here we are. We're going to start the lap. Now, I personally like turn one and turn two as they are. I think they're quite flowing and fun to drive so we're going to keep the original couple of corners here because i think they just have great flow enough of a challenge but still high enough speed to enjoy it then into the slow section again standard procedure just using the curbs making sure we uh, maximize the lap time and then we're going to head onto the back straight now out of all the options we're going to go for one that we haven't explored yet and it's by far the most fun it falls into line with you know turn one and turn two in terms of high elevation change, you know, flow. And we're going to bring the car to the left because we have a little chicane on the right here, which goes uphill, quickly back down. We flip the car across and then back into the original chicane. So a lot more mechanical grip is needed here. And, you know, having that grip at low speed. And this would significantly change the setup. So, you know, if you also consider the slow section at the start of uh, sector two slash end of sector one, we then go through the double right-handers, and for this one, again, we're going to go back to that short layout, so bring the car quickly back to the right, and then tip the nose into the left. Again, mechanical grip needs for these kind of medium to slow speed corners, and then straighten out this section as we make our way into the final couple of corners, and uh, then the final corner at the end of it all. And that is it for my version, and what I think would be a decent track or update of Paul Ricard. So, let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer. We have 1A, which is default. We have 2B, 3C, and 4D, which is my version. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'll be curious to hear your feedback. I'm going to let you guys enjoy the replay version of the lap. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys next time.